Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Commanding officer. Straight ahead and around the corner, past the first barricade. Hold your fire! Friendly inbound! Try them again. Try them again. <gasps> Enforcements haven't arrived. We could really use air support, General. Waiting for your orders, sir. Tabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! Level 8 repairs. 
Every serviceable fighter is in the air. ASAP. Got it? Up and on your yes, left. Sir. This is the main barricade. at the tower overwhelmed us. Good luck. We can't repair it from this panel. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Let's take them. your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus? Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. 
James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. James, that's you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Just me? Or do those Reapers look like Turians? You're right, they do. I think we're done here. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Maybe I can do three at a time. Woohoo! 
Okay, come on. Who's next? Like fish in a barrel. They're on top of us. Word of the Primarch. Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. Are you putting up a good fight? For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of if they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. More back here. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Headed south. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Commander, how many troops in that crash? 50? 75? Not sure. Sounds right. 
Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primarch was headed south. Whoa, look out! That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll stay. So, Commander, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. That sounds bad! Okay, double time! No Reaper's taking this Primark from me! Right behind you! a brutal fight for these guys. But the tide's turning. Turn up the heat!
General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A uh, Commander, I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan, negotiating for the Turian Hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. Can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this moon. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan? Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. I apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcom. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. It sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. That there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. And when you put it that way... The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. 
Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. The problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. Are you sure? Maybe something was miscalibrated. You do know. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along? We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavan. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. 
for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them, and he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with him? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Joker. What's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire, or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? 
Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just... don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. I guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It did better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stopped before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Good dog. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. From my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. 
So you can fly fighters and fix them. Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from Deck 2. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Ugh. Hey, boss. Ugh. So, that Turian's on board now, no? Ugh. That and Edie's got herself a shiny robot body. <sighs> what? <sighs> she got that Cerberus bot and took it over. <sighs> You're shitting me. <sighs> I shit you not. <sighs> huh. <sighs> you down here for a reason? Or are you just looking? It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader was died with most of my squad protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack and the colony it was either them or the intel we had on the collectors intel we could have used to destroy them i chose the intel sorry that's a tough call The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. 
But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. <laughs> Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. <laughs> Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Solarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? 
fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Do the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard, it's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There are a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie, hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? 
Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the Information Network Terminal. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would've baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. We were deployed to Titchu. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help a people. According to the council. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. How's your center handling the extra load? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. 
I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. The Council called the invaders Reapers, the same time. Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Ghost Plants. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard. Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? Oh, it was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm in Doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. 
Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? <sighs> Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. Can't believe he did that. They were refugees. Damn, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes and loved ones in some cars. Went over about what little they have left. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Damn it, morale is pitiful. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of Commander Shepard? I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these masters.
So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Anytime. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Yes, I have spoken to you before. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Ilium is under attack, although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from...
Yes, this squad did this. The invading force appears to be deciding to attack the destroyer. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. The Council. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the Counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical. She might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentia spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all their worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course. But the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know, I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries, Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. 
What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get Keiji's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Aim and attack those planets. Yes, I have spoken to the Kills. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. It appears the Turian forces may lose their planet. Yes, his squad did return. Of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. Excelling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. For a shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. If we switch from financial BIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. Look, Silas, if you want to sell your shares and walk fine. But I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. 
Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. Alternative. A small. We're selling it. Cost plus free range organic matter. Fine. Appears the Turian forces may lose their planet. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking into that. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating units so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. Yes, then. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. Defying this order is violating the law. You have to let her out. All right, Shepard. But whatever terror she inflicts out there is on your head. I'll release her today. Sure hope you don't come to regret this. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> but your manager said you would give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. Foster Sporting Goods. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong, affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's 
not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Neither should you. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen, once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. We've got to keep Jake from being other children. But what if there's another attraction? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. Thank you. Galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. The council called the invaders. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Sanctuary. We can keep you safe. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Palamon. It appears that Turian forces may lose their planet. What the hell are you talking about? Quit. 
Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander, Shepard. Creep pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet. I have to look even more powerful than Creep thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creep. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I scratch yours. Word of advice, don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. <laughs> Commander Shepard, it's been some time. Bar Levon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. For a fresh, spreadable alternative, try McSorley's... Now arriving at docking bay E-24. Emergency... Bao, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. You can't tell me to go away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This is sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I... Thank you, Commander. Thank you so much.
Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, the car. Christoph Wasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know, I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Leon. Do you know Leon? Primarch Victus has requested a war summit of council races. The report suggests he has also offered an invitation to my brothers and sisters. We have faced adversity and overcome. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of that faith they can get. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? You are looking at the VI model 1.7 ADB, Commander Shepard. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. You have a copy of a Shepard VI. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. We just got a report that another ship made it off Paladin. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Sun's trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I think 
figured you'd talk to a rock and see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Suggest he has also offered an invitation to the crow. Bizarre intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Celia Nebula and the Nimbus Cluster. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Sorry, intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Celia Nebula and the Nimbus Cluster. Ilium is under attack. Bao, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names... I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Den hostile to incoming Reaper forces. This fight continues as the Reapers occupy most of Palavan. It appears that. Hey, I remember you. Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. 
With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Matriarch Benazio was, um... was her mother. And, uh... Well, she doesn't know it, but... I was her father. You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she never even met me. Sorry, if you were human, you'd both be called the mother. Regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a girlfriend who used to work for Cerberus. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Benezia and... Well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. I hadn't agreed to keep an eye on her. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Primarch Victus has requested a war summit of council races, and reports suggest he has also offered an invitation to the Prodi. That bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. You know? I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Just making sure you knew. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate it. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. These weapons are for the war. If you don't do your part, I can make your life very unhappy. I, I'm sure you could. But even if you rough me up or, or kill me, my partners won't release the weapons without my okay. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. C-Sec wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple artifacts. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Well, you've got to be kidding me! 
Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish! You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We are taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! <laughs> Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor, with a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it, all that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. Use final continues.